from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Francis with today's top stories. Fire crews tell us they plan to be at the Diamond Ice Building in Southington pretty much all day cleaning up after an ammonia leak ammonia tank, I should say, leaked. The company manufactures ice. It's located on Industrial Drive in Southington. Anyone within a mile and a half of that area was told to shelter in place last night. They were asked to shut their windows and turn off air conditioners as well. I tried splashing my eyes with cold, really cold water. It kind of worked a little bit and it just like burned a lot. Now, after about four hours, that shelter in place order was lifted. The ventilation helped, but officials say they will continue using tools like water fans. It's not clear exactly what caused that leak. National Guardsmen at a facility in East Lyme were sent to the hospital for observation after experiencing heat related issues during a training march. A spokesperson told us ambulances were called to the Stones Ranch Military Reservation this morning. We're also told today is known as Ruck March Day, where the soldiers carry heavy backpacks on a rig rigorous training march. Medical personnel were on hand as part of a precaution. Today, Pfizer is meeting with top U.S. health officials about a booster shot. They are collecting research on what that third shot could do for people's antibody levels. But right now, the FDA and CDC say that booster is not necessary. Pfizer still plans to ask for emergency use authorization for a third dose later this summer. And police in Waterbury are looking for a driver they say hit a 60-year-old man and then just took off. It all happened after 1130 Saturday night on Pine Street. Officers say that man is listed in critical condition. They're looking for a dark-colored Audi with Connecticut plates AX02055. That information is there listed on your screen. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Waterbury Police. I'm meteorologist Melissa Cole with the Channel 3 weather update. We're going to be watching for some showers and storms to roll on through here during the overnight hours, but they get out of here in time for Tuesday morning and Tuesday shaping up to be a cloudy day. Um, we're going to watch out for some severe thunderstorms, possibly in southwest Connecticut, but most of us stay dry and we're looking at some breaks of sun on Wednesday.